hello friends today i want to okay speak about important concept called degree of curve okay so i want to speak about degree of curve right in part 1 okay today part 1 degree of curve right so before telling you what is this degree of curve let us go through the definition so degree of curve is the angle subtended okay by an arc of length 30.5 meters at the center of circle hmm? so that angle is called what degree of curve so if we have let us draw one small thing here so if we have a arc of from circle say 30.5 meters length from here to here okay so this is one small arc now what is this angle okay whatever this angle is there that angle is called what degree of curve so angle subtended by an arc so this is the arc okay and this is the angle subtended and whatever angle that was subtended that was there for this length of 30.5 meters that is called degree of curve right so now i want to find out what is this degree what is the relation between degree and radius of curve right so let us derive that so let us take one circle okay all right so now this is the radius okay now we have drawn small arc so see this portion i have taken so that same portion i am showing here so this arc is of length how much 30.5 meters which is also is equal to 100 feet now whatever angle is there that is what d degrees hmm? now you know in a circle right perimeter perimeter of a circle is equal to what 2 pi r right so this entire from here to okay this entire length entire length of the circle is what 2 pi r so the 2 pi r means what entire entire circle is equal to how much 360 degrees okay this much length is equal to this much angle okay now i want to tell you how to find out d degrees means okay or 30.5 meters length means how much angle okay so for that now is it clear right so see 30.5 meters of length how much angle that's what we are going to do so now 2 pi r means 360 degrees 1 degree is equal to how much so which is equal to okay so if you cross multiply what happened 2 pi r divided by 360 so 1 degree means this much length okay 1 degree is equal to this much length okay right so let us go somewhat right so now 1 degree means this much length d degrees means how much length 30.5 meters we already know but from this formula 2 pi r into d divided by 360 for 1 this much d 1 into d means 2 pi r into d by 360 right but uh, this length also equal to because we are speaking about d degree d degree is equal to how much length 30.5 meters so we got length from above formula as what this much so this is also equal to how much 30.5 meters okay so from this you can derive the relation so um, wow. so here you see here 2 pi r d is equal to 
thirty point five into three sixty. So I have taken this in this direction. So from here, D is equal to thirty point five into three sixty whole divided by two pi r. Whole divided by two pi r. So now if you calculate in this term, okay. If you calculate this term, it is going to be how much? Okay. So thirty point five into three sixty is equal to divided by two into twenty two by seven. Okay. Mm. So let us write here. D is equal to thirty point five into three sixty whole divided by two into pi means what twenty two by seven into r. So now evaluate this. Okay, if evaluate this, you will get uh, um, how much thirty point five into three sixty whole divided by two into twenty two. By seven, so you are getting, which is equal to seventeen forty six point eight one, whole divided by r. Okay, remaining was r. So now, if you go here, d is equal to seventeen forty six point eight, whole divided by r, and this. Term is approximated as seventeen fifty whole divided by r. Okay, seventeen fifty whole divided by r. So now, so I will write here. D is equal to D is equal to seventeen fifty by r. So this I have written here. Right. So you got the relation between degree of curve and radius of the curve. How they are related? Inversely proportional. So more radius is less implies degree is more. Radius is more implies degree is less. So out of these two cases, which one is safe? More radius, lesser radius. So I will tell you one small diagram. Here we have like this, and we have one more diagram like this. See, obviously this has more radius, and this has less radius. Okay, here in this case, okay, the vehicle will change its direction in a gradual manner. Okay, here the vehicle has to change its direction in a sudden manner. So More radius case is safer than lesser radius case, right? So this is the concept we have covered today. I hope you got some clear idea about degree. In next class, I want to tell you about versine, versine of curve. Okay, in part number two. Okay, next class I want to cover in detail about this in part number two. So, but at present you have to remember that degree is equal to seventeen fifty by r. Degree equal to seventeen fifty by r. Thank you.